Hello guys and welcome to this brand new video in this uh, the fish game series and thank you for uh, being with me throughout the time I have been inactive and thank you Mia for uh, requesting this video and getting me back on track also a big shout out to everyone who watches my video and takes some notes from them and uh, keeps me going so thank you everyone and so another big, another big announcement I want to make is I also am looking to may, uh, do some app development tutorials here uh, so the, those are the things that I have been learning in the past few months and um, I think uh, I'm ready to make some tutorials about uh, app development here and uh, please stay tuned to the my channel for those kinds of announcements we are very uh, soon coming with the videos and let's dive back into the fish game series up to now we have made uh, the fish uh, hero fish as I like to call it and we have made the enemy fish. Enemy fish has a basic AI and it moves from left to right. And if our player collides with the fish, uh, we die and the enemies are gone. So this is the basic thing here. So now what we have to do is player has the bullet. Uh, sorry, the player has the gun. So we need to put some bullet into it so that the player can shoot those enemies. So let's dive into it. And in the images folder, what we have here is we have a bullets file. So drag the bullet file into the, uh, into the hierarchy panel. And this bullet goes in front of this gun. And let's decrease the size of the bullet as it, as it looks very big as compared to the gun. So let's. Still big. I think this will do. Okay, this will do. And in the, uh, the bullet has no scripts right now. In the script folder, what you can find is you can find sort move and sort script. So just drag these two into the inspector for bullet. Make sure the bullet is selected in the hierarchy panel. And open the scripts. Uh, okay. Let's move the sort move script. Let's open the sort move script first. This is a pretty basic script. Uh, in this script, what we have done here is we have created a vector to a speed and assigned uh, 20 and 20 to the both x and y coordinates of the speed vector. In same, we have run in the direction thing. Uh, in the direction vector, what we have done is the x is 1 and the y is 0. So in update method, what we have done is in the vector 2 called the movement, we have multiplied the x values of direction and speed and same thing we have done for the y values of direction and speed so we have basically said that movement should only be in x direction as the y is zero for now and um, this creates a left to um, uh, the bullet goes from right to left so this is why we have assigned 20 and 1 so the velocity of this uh, this bullet should be and uh, the movement vector so this is done in the fixed update so as to uh, maintain similar kind of um, game field and uh, the fixed update uh, and update are two different functions and up update is called on every cpu uh, cycle but fixed update is not done so so it does not depend upon the speed processing speed of your computer but rather on the on a fixed uh, time scale so, so let's just minimize that on the sort move script what we have here is we have just created a simple variable called score. So this is used to store score whenever the bullet hits the enemy. And we have called a method called destroy. The game object is this game object for five seconds. So we are basically saying is delete this object. This is delete this bullet after five seconds. And in the and in the trigger method, in the trigger inter method, what we have done here is we have look if the enemy or the collider that the bullet hits has a script called enemy script so if it has the enemy script that is the and the thing that we hit is the enemy and if the enemy if the, if the hit is not null then we are saying destroy the hit object we are also destroying ourselves so that is why you see bullet hits the enemy and enemy dies and the bullet also vanishes so in the player preferences so what is player preferences is um kind of 
uh, it's basically an XML file. It's an XML file maintained uh, maintained uh, to store uh, to store basic things like scores and uh, uh, player player preferences. Actually, as the name says. So what we have uh, done here is we have created a new int, uh, if we um, call it score, and we have assigned the score as previous score plus one. So if the previous score is zero, then the score will be one. And um, what we have also done here is that if the score is greater than s score, which is high score, then set the high score as score. So this what this does is we are swapping and the highest value of score with the edge score so that uh, we can always update our high score. This will be used in the later phases. So let's just minimize this. And so as you see, we were trying to get the collider component of this bullet here. And we are also trying to get the rigid body component of this bullet here. Here, what we have to do is in the Unity, so add component, just type in rigid body 2D and put the gravity scale at zero. Also add a box collider 2D and it is the collider. I think this will this will um, this will do good for me. And okay, and that is optional actually because the bullet is almost a square or a box, so that does not actually matter a lot. But if you want to be precise, you can always do that. So here we have box collider set. We have rigid body 2D set. So what we need now is create a prefab of this bullet. Because as you know, prefab is to be generated when the same thing is to be repeated for time and again and time and again. So inside the prefab folder, let's drag and drop this bullet. The simple thing done here. Now, the thing is uh, that we have to do in the hero page is inside the scripts folder, what you have to do is there is a uh, script called weapon script. Just drag this weapon script into the hero page. So, as I am doing that, you can see that it asks for a sort prefab game object. So, let's dive into this weapon script. And what is done here in this weapon script is I just set the player preferences to zero, it's score to zero because this is a new game. Whenever the script gets in the like new game. And I just say that uh, uh, if the user presses the button fire one, so this fire one is assigned in the input section, which I'll show you later on uh, in this video. I hope. And in the if the user presses the fire one button, then it's true, the bullet uh, bull suit runs to be true, true. So if the player has pressed the fire button, what you do is instantiate this sort prefab. Instantiate this sort prefab, simple. The sort prefab is a bullet. So it's instantiate the bullet. And the position of bullet is the position of this gun plus two comma zero comma zero. That means just two X coordinates ahead of this uh, player of this bullet. So that the a bullet seems as the it is coming out from a weapon. So let's just minimize this and inside the hero face, what we do here is from the prefabs folder, drag and drop the bullet transform and just delete this bullet from here. So let's see how it goes. We have a player, we have a player and it's shooting bullets. And oh you can see well what's happening there. See that, see that see that so what i forgot to do here is where it is not killing some enemies is in the that is cool yeah in the bullet what we have accessed in this script is uh, in the i think thought script okay in the thought script is a trigger enter component in it is the trigger enter method so what i should do is set the box collider of this as a trigger that Whenever it switch, the trigger enter method is called. Like, where is it? Okay, and let's kind of play my own game. Wow. So let's shoot this bullet again. Let's shoot this bullet now. I hope this bullet. 
Okay, as you see, I'm shooting some enemies and it's working, it's working. I died again. So this is how this works. Uh, this is the basic thing of uh, you know, the hero fish and bullet being generated. So we can fire bullets at will now. So what I think uh, in the script folder, as you look, we can, uh, we will do in the later phases is we'll put some scores, we'll put some restart and starts button. And uh, yeah, I think that's almost the thing. And the game over screen is the thing that we have left to do. And also we have not uh, uh, done any score. Uh, we are not assigning any scores thing here. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this and always stay tuned to my channel for more information. And if you have any queries, please leave uh, those queries in the comment section below. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up button. And if you don't like the video, please in the comments below, let me know what I can improve on. And thank you guys for watching this. See you in the later videos. Bye for now.